Winter is coming. It's cold outside. You don't know cold. Winter is coming for him. It's either me or this cold, and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. Could we see a truly early winter Arctic invasion come over the North Pole into Canada and invade the continental United States by December? We'll take a look next. Please help us get 10 new subscribers today. Subscribe for future shorts, dailies, and live severe weather updates. Hey, welcome back to the channel, my fellow weather junkies. I'm your host, Greg Majeski, your personal weatherman here. We'll call this the special Arctic edition here on the Weather Nerds channel as I'm getting indications we might see, might, see a potential true Arctic air mass make an outbreak here as we begin the new month heading into December, sometime around the first week in December. So what we're looking at right here, this is the latest European model, kind of looking at where the current cold air is sitting. And when you see this color hue in here, you notice this uh, kind of this greenish, bluish kind of hue kind of through Alaska right through here. These are temperatures that are running below zero, substantially so. So we got this very much a building area of cold air. I like to always give this analogy of cold air being like one big uh, giant bowl and you take a bowl of water and you fill up eventually that bowl is going to fill up and it's going to overspill and it's going to break loose and come down to the south to show you how cold this these temperatures are currently sitting here let's look at the current temperatures sitting here across alaska looking very bitterly cold up in here do you notice the temperature sitting in here uh sitting between 25 and 30 below zero up here across northern alaska right now so bitterly cold air up there uh, below normal even for them for this time of year being in toward the middle and end of November. So very, very cold indeed. So what we're going to first take a look at as I go back to this map here on the European, we're going to watch the spin here of the polar vortex. I'm going to show you this kind of first. As you kind of bring this forward here, you kind of see that spin right through there. You see it very clearly as I'm going through there. So we're rocking, rocking right in here. This is where our polar low is sitting right here. So What's going to happen? This is Siberia back in here. We're going to get some cold air that's going to kind of break loose and come down to the south and then eventually invade into Canada. And then eventually this will spill over into the United States. At least that's what the European model is showing out going toward December. Now, keep in mind, this is a long range projection. It is subject to change. But I've seen it both on the American GFS model as well as the European model showing some sort of cold Arctic outbreak potentially happening as we go into the first first or second or so of December. So again, watch me as I take this all the way through. Watch that time snap in that upper right-hand corner as this stuff kind of breaks free here as we head past the first of the month. Here it comes right there. Boom, right there. Coming over to the, from right over Siberia, going back to the 29th here. Again, we'll show it right there. So you're kind of watching this area right in here, and then it's breaking loose and coming free through Canada and then eventually getting down into the northern portion of the United States. You see it charging on down and makes its way down to the south. Let's take a closer look. So as we focus our attention here on Canada, we're going to be looking at how things are going to progress over the next 14 days on this model. We're going to start on Tuesday morning on November the 19th, and we're going to take it all the way through for the next 14 days over the next two weeks, uh, taking us into that first and second of December. The one thing I do want to point out is just how mild it is here across the central and eastern portions of Canada running well above normal. All this up here, this is where the frigid Arctic air is pretty much contained and it's still relatively chilly across here, across the western portions of Canada here for the most part. But watch how this thing's really going to change as I go forward here on the model. Watch some of this cold air. It stays this way into this upcoming Thursday, still looking not much. We're still getting colder there in the west, but you start to get that initial spill there going Thursday to Friday or there across the islands there across northern Canada. So we're starting to see the temperatures dropping off in this area. Now, eventually that's going to spill into the eastern portions of the country as well. But watch as this thing goes through time. We start getting colder and colder, saying goodbye to those white hues and getting replaced by the purples as indication of that colder temperature. Again, you see that greenish color hue, you know these are below normal temperature. So as we go in toward the second, or going into a money, uh, going into the first and into the second, you see how cold this air mass is starting to come on through here across Canada, starting to make its presence felt and it's diving to the south. And that continues to move right into the northern tier of the United States as we head into the third, into Tuesday, December 3rd. So we're going to see some very frigid temperatures potentially start to invade across Canada again as that bowl starts to fill up. Another thing I'm going to watch closely during this time period is the snow across the area. Check out the snowpack. I'm going to back this up once again, show you through this once again on the snow that's going to pick up, especially where that cold air is going to be settling in. 
Snow's a great insulator. You get the snow on the ground that really keeps that temperatures from modifying that much. And the one thing I see over the next two weeks is a significant rise in snow total here on the ground across portions of Canada. So as that cold air starts to dive in across the south, guess what? That air is not going to modify as much. Therefore, it's going to stay very frigid as it comes over the border and into the northern tier states of the United States of America. So how cold is it going to get? Let's look at those temperatures. So bringing it right down into the continental United States, let's take a look at these temperatures. We're going to start on our Tuesday morning here as we're noticing temperatures really not that bad. They are cold out here in the Intermountain region. You see temperatures down here in the teens and single digits. But the northern plains, I mean, 30s, are really not that bad, especially by some November standards. It's been running well above normal here for a lot of the central portion and the eastern portion of the United States, uh, for sure. But watch as we progress here as we go through time, okay, especially at the end of this model run. They get progressively colder here as we go through to, uh, the future. Going into this upcoming weekend, we're seeing more 20s and we're seeing more teens in there, that's for sure, especially across the Dakotas and up toward, uh, through uh, areas of Minnesota. But the real stuff is really next week, all right? So right now, I'm taking this model all the way up into uh, going into Monday morning. You're noticing here across the northern tier, you clearly got some teens and single digits coming up in there now, uh, coming across areas of Montana and North Dakota. So, okay, so we got that stuff coming in. Watch as we go to the end of this run. It's going to really start to spell over here across the board. Here it comes on Thursday morning on the 28th as we start seeing the first below zero temperatures start to show their nasty heads here. And it really starts to expand and moves in across the areas of Dakotas. It's kind of a glancing blow there on the 28th. And then we get a more substantial push going in there on December the 2nd. Uh, you clearly see that push in spreading across areas from Wisconsin all the way over into Montana. So we're talking areas right back in here going all the way over. Uh, seeing temperatures running below zero significantly so and its effects even spreading further south you've seen single digits drop right up in here and temperatures in here in the 20s stretching down into kansas and the areas of minnesota and i mean missouri and heading into iowa so a substantial drop off there uh, is anticipated as we go into the beginning of December, at least based off what the European is showing. And I said the GFS is actually reflecting this as well, but we're focusing predominantly on the European because that's really my preferred model. Let's go in a little bit closer here. Let's talk about the temperatures. We're talking about lows, okay, here, looking at the, the Tuesday on December the 3rd. How cold are we talking about here? You see in most of the, the state of, of North Dakota here, seeing anywhere from 10 to 23 below zero there uh, on that date. You're seeing areas here across areas near Minneapolis, St. Paul, getting into the single digit below zero into that area as well. So we're talking about some bone chilling temperatures. And then when you factor in the wind factor on this, it gets even worse. And that's gonna do it for this quick update on this potential Arctic outbreak as we head into the first part of December. And now again, this is still subject to change. It's still a couple of weeks out, but again, I get indications that we might be seeing our first true Arctic winter outbreak potentially coming in. And I wanna give you as much notice as possible. Now, if you'd like to continue to get these updates in your YouTube feed, I'd like to personally invite you to be part of the Weather Nerds family. Please, all you gotta do is please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted on future content. And as always, if you got a comment, you got any feedback, please leave a posting down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it as we continue to fight the almighty YouTube algorithm. All right, that'll do it for this update. You guys take it easy. Be good, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.